Yeah, I wish that the things that I talked about weren't um, when they happen. That I, I I don't take any glee or in any of this. I, I'm not happy about any of it. I would rather talk about other things than depleted inventory. But it's real. It's happening. It's it's, it's gone from getting real to now it is real. I don't think we've quite got to it's severely real, but we're close. We're right on the, the periphery of the severely real. And um, I guess we'll see how it all plays out. I think that the next several weeks leading up to the midterms, you will see tremendous volatility and um, wouldn't be surprised to see some sort of an event, a bond market failure, a bank failure, um, I don't know. I just think we're getting really, really close. So please, please, if you've ever believed me before, if you've ever believed anything I've ever said before, do something about it. Now, stop waiting for the price to go up or the price to go down or for whatever it is that you're waiting for. You know, I guess the best way I could ex explain it is that if you're going to, you've come to grips with buying a shotgun to protect your family. You don't wait for bullets to go on sale. You buy a box of bullets and then, then you can cost average your way through. You need the gun and the box of bullets first to protect your family. And you hope you never need to use that. Well, the same thing is true here with my metal. I hope I never need to use it. Whether it's an emergency, maybe it's there for an opportunity, who knows? If not, I give it to my kids. Well, I have a gun and I, I hope I never need to use it. And and I think that's the way you need to look at this right now, that if you don't have your gun, then you're not protecting yourself or your family. You need to get this now and hope you never need to use it. And if you do, maybe it's for a wonderful opportunity when everything that has been so blow, blown sky high distorted because of the suppressed interest rates and easy money, when, when things come into equilibrium and you find real value in real estate, in equities, in bonds, in all of these things that are impossible to discover real price, then maybe you sell your gold and silver for that because everything has cycles. And uh, we are nowhere near the top of this cycle in metals, but you could argue we are already past the top in bond stocks and, and real estate. And as rates continue to rise, whether it be by, at the hands of the Fed or at the hands of the folks across the Atlantic that we've talked about ad nauseum, you'll understand how how vitally important it was to have that shotgun and those bullets in 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 the form of gold and silver. So, so everybody who's thinking as a small timer that you're going to execute your brilliant plan uh, when prices get smacked down or when finally people realize that there's it, it really is go time because the stuff's about to run out or this arbitrage opportunity pops up between real physical prices versus uh, artificial paper prices. Don't think that the little guy is going to be able to execute at that point because the big guys will already have done it. So that's that gets back to the preparedness aspect of being the gray man. You're so much better off in the calm times, in the boring times, in the not popular times, just chipping away, chipping away, chipping away, getting what you can, and then you got to kind of just sit back and let the let the crowd fight over the last roll of toilet paper on the shelf at the at the store. And don't be in that don't be in that feeding frenzy. Yeah, well, done again. I mean, to your point. Uh, last week, 5% um, of all the good delivery bars were delivered off of Comex in gold in one day. In, in one day, one day. And if you go back a few months ago, 40% of all the kilo bars on Comex that I think back the mini contracts, 40% were delivered in one day. You look at the amount of silver being drained off of the LME and off of Comex to record low levels. Well, who's taking all of this metal. Where is it all going? It's the people who are closest to the information. Uh, it's the biggest money in the world. It is repositioning using the cover of suppression and prices to drain the exchanges. And don't think that these people don't understand how powerful the suppression of price is. And, you know, because they realize that most people don't look underneath the hood. You talk to someone who understands silver and they'll be voracious about its virtues. You talk to someone who is a financial advisor who is very well versed in finance and in economics, and they'll say, well, the price hasn't done anything. It's a piece of crap. Why would you buy it? This is the distinction, is that even someone who's highly educated and is um, uh, very proficient in economics, if they don't look under the hood, if they just simply look at the price the way most 
people do, it allows to easily misdirect and, and manipulate. And that's exactly what is happening. If I didn't see, and really since 2020, when we started talking about the rise of the others, this group of very knowledgeable private traders thought to be sovereign wealth funds and family offices, if I did not see them systematically draining the exchanges of metal since 2020, I would have been less optimistic and bullish about where metal is going, but it is very obvious to me, along with many of the other things that I talk about to you, that they are using the misdirection, the suppression of the metals prices in order to literally drain them dry. And, and that isn't hyperbole, that's not, uh, th this is happening. When you can see as much silver delivered to the country of India in one month as is backing the entire price setting mechanism of the globe, there's a problem. Um, and I think the same thing can be said of, uh, of the LME. When you have the lowest amount of silver backing um, the, the, the LME than we've ever seen, and, and this is probably, now I'm just a little bit of a supposition here, because of all of the exchange for physical, where uh, com companies or, or, or traders have um, COMEX contracts, and instead of standing for delivery and bleeding COMEX dry, which is a little bit more obvious, they exchange it for physical, and they and they and and that physical is off the London Metals Exchange, so they can pull it off over there in a little bit more private fashion. Any way you look at it, the biggest money is doing exactly what you're saying, not only in silver, but also more recently here in gold. And and so it's it's happening where we all wake up one day and say, geez, how'd that happen? And the people who have prepared, who have used the cover of manipulation or the manipulated prices to accumulate copious amounts, while most people in this country wouldn't have a clue what you and I are talking about right now, COMEX, uh, manipulation, what are you talking about? They're using this rhetoric or the lack of um, discussion on this topic where it should be talked about. I mean, the fact that you have these situations and our media doesn't cover it at all, uh, maybe that actually is more reason to believe that this is truly happening, that the insiders, the big money, the fact that only four companies control every media outlet in the, in the United States, the radio, uh, newspaper, magazine, television, you name it, the information that is being fed to us is filtered for a reason. Maybe everyone up, up at that level is in on it. Maybe they are, maybe they're not. I don't know, but what I can tell you is that it's disappearing in ways that I've never seen, and it's starting at the top from the from the from the biggest biggest exchanges in the world which are being bled down all the way down to the retail market which other than oh wait where everything was gone is um it's just uh it's unlike anything i've ever seen the cupboards are really bare and i'm i'm concerned what it looks like into the last month of this year i think that there may be a little bit more coming in through november but you get through Thanksgiving, and I don't think you have a snowball's chance in Haiti of getting anything substantive before year's end. And I, I think that's what people should really be prepared for.